morning, everyone. I think you know what I'm going to talk about. It's going to be about joy. Proverbs 17.22 says, A happy heart is good medicine, and a cheerful mind works healing, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. In the Passion Translation, it says it like this, A joyful, cheerful heart brings healing to both body and soul, but the one whose heart is crushed struggles with sickness and depression. One of the ways joy overflows in our lives is through laughter. Laughter is good medicine. Did you know how good laughter is for you? Laughter can stimulate the organs in your body. When you laugh, your tummy gets stimulated, your heart and lungs and I don't know what other, but it, your muscles and everything are, um, are affected through the laughter. And then endorphins are released into your body. Endorphins are hormones that relieve stress, um, that reduce pain and improve your sense of well-being. So laughter is really good for you. A happy, joyful heart is truly medicine and it has a positive effect on one's health. But sickness and depression come if you are always negative. That's why God tells us to pay attention to his word, to let it dwell richly within us, to never let it out of our sight and to keep our eyes on it. The word is health and healing to our bones. Hebrews 4.12 says that the word is active and alive. And in the Amplified Bible, it says operative. And I had a little laugh the other day when I read somewhere that Joyce Meyer said, operative. That means that God operates with his word, takes away sickness and disease, and the anesthetic he uses is laughter. Have you ever noticed how laughter can make you relax? Laughter makes the, well, it's like, makes the medicine go down. Psalm 511 says, <clears throat> Let all who take refuge and put their trust in you rejoice. Let them ever sing and shout for joy, because you make a covering over them and defend them. Let those who love your name be joyful in you and be in high spirits. Staying rooted and grounded in Jesus, having the word of God in you, produces joy. And there's a scripture I, <clears throat> that I'm very fond of because it says it so well. It says, all the days of the afflicted and desponding are made evil by their anxious thoughts and forebodings. You see, anxious thoughts and forebodings will make your days evil, but a glad heart has a continual feast regardless of the circumstances. And we can have glad hearts because, listen to Isaiah 51, 11, The redeemed of the Lord shall return with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Listen, guys, we are the redeemed of the Lord. We know it because we are highly favored and deeply loved.